working, trying a little split screen thing with my document cam. Oh yeah, you can't see it because, well, wait, can you see it? You know this green thing that I use sometimes? Okay, so I'm able to like record split screen on there and I wanna just remind you of the directions for this project that we've already started. So this will not blow your minds. Uh, it's nothing new, but I figured in case you missed class today, I wanted to be sure you knew what to do. Uh, today's Thursday, yes. Well, it's Wednesday because I'm recording this a day early, but it's Thursday. Uh, this assignment is due tomorrow. You also have your blue lobster, well, it doesn't have to be blue, but your lobster claw painting is also due tomorrow. And that's all your art assignments for the week. And like I keep saying, those are things we would have been doing in the classroom anyway. So they're not invented projects to keep you busy while you're at home. This is what we would have been doing in the classroom. So, all right, reminder, we have this, um, I'll show it to you. I know you can see it on the screen, but this chart that you started and actually, on. Yes, yes. Okay, so a lot of some of you might even be very super close to done. Maybe you just need to do a little bit more. But this is basically the chart that we're going to be filling in. So I want to remind you of how that went. Okay, so you can see this on my screen over here. I'll do a little adjusting. Sorry, you have to see that part. No big deal. I got my water with my rock. That might head off screen in a second, so just so you know it's there. You don't have to have a rock. I just love the rock part. So what we said about this chart is that the top color is on top. That's just a good way to remember that. So top is on top. So that means I'm going to use these. I'm going to lay down my side color first, and I'm going to put the top color on top. And this is kind of a wet on wet situation. So with the water interacts in that way, which is different than putting like a layer, letting it dry, putting another layer on top and letting it dry. That behaves totally different. Um, so check out these watercolors. You all got a set of these pan watercolors. Funny thing, I, I got these when I taught third grade, which is like 100 years ago now, um, and I've never used them. They've been in a box forever, and when I was looking to send stuff home to you, I was like, da-da, I will send them home brand new pan watercolors. And of course, we keep talking about praying um, being a very good brand, and it is. Okay, so here goes. What I want to do is I'll just demonstrate this yellow row. I didn't finish the red row, or the orange row, but... Just gonna move on. I'm gonna demonstrate the yellow row so you know what's happening and then you'll be able to fill in the rest of the chart. I found that I can do like three at a time. You can decide if you like that or not. That's what I'm gonna demonstrate. So I'm gonna go into my yellow. I need to get rid of some of my water. Okay, so uh, maybe I need more water. You know how watercolor is. It's tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna say, here's some yellow. Like I said, I think I can do, get away with doing three at a time because the water will stay wet enough. I wouldn't, I don't think I would do more than that. So there, okay, so now those are my yellows and that says yellow right there on the side. So now I'm gonna put red on top, orange on top and yellow on top. And we'll see how the colors behave. So here's a little bit of red on top. Dun, dun, dun. Here's a little bit of orange on top. Oopsie. Behave differently, maybe too much orange. Cool thing is, I can pull some of that out just by drying my brush on the paper towels and pulling some of that out. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I know it's yellow on yellow, but I'm gonna do it anyway because those are the directions. Perfect. All right, now my brush is back to yellow. I'm gonna do, you know, I'm only actually gonna do two now. I don't know if I really liked doing three. Now I'm gonna put green on top and then blue on top. Um, okay, can you tell? Sun just went behind a cloud. It just got really dark in here, it feels like. So here's green on top. Then here is bum, ba, da, da, blue on top. Fun. All right. Now I'm going to do two more. Yellow. Mm, all right, I'll do three because there's only three left, but you get the idea. You'll have to play with it. You can decide what you want to do. These are my three yellows. Yellow went down first because it's on the side. Um, and this one says violet on top. Purple. Purple Crayola color, you know what I mean. But violet on top. Of course, they're compliments. So. And then brown on top. That's what the BR is. Brown on top. And then my friend and yours. Black top. Dun, dun, dun. Mix that up a little bit. Okay, so that is basically how this whole chart needs to be filled out. Let me, um, I should have had it ready, but I'm going to go grab my chart that you've seen a thousand times just so you can see a finished version of that. All right, sorry about that. Waiting. 
All right, so this, this video is just for that first half of the chart. This is the finished version. Jog your memory. Ah, I didn't set my chart up super awesome, but there you go, side by side. All right, so those are all my little color swatches for my chart that I did in my grad class that I'm having you do in your high school class. Pretty fun. All right, so that's part one. I'll record a second video for part two in case maybe you only need one version. You don't have to watch the whole thing. All right, thanks guys. See ya.